Hello folks, this is Sula speaking. You're listening to a commentary video on League of Legends, this one featuring Ash. Our team is a little bit behind in this game right now. Actually, we're, we're pretty far behind, but we're doing our best to try and come back. The enemy team is trying to steal our blue buff, and I'd really like to go forward and engage, but with the whole rest of their team there, I really can't go forward and try to fight them. It's just too risky. Even though Sandover is not with the rest of the team, you can see he's was over in the bottom lane. We're still not going to be able to. Now, we've managed to catch Termith out here a little bit. Uh, you can see he's almost dead, but I miss my crystal arrow shot. Instead, I hit Janna, which is not who I was aiming for at all. And while I continue to chase Janna out of the fight, Sandover is meanwhile coming in and killing our Heimer player. And now I can see that with Heimer, or not Heimer, with Sandover in pursuit, along with Annie, Mecha Florian, um, we're in deep trouble. And there's not, we, we're not going to be able to win this fight. It's just time to get out of here because Sandover is full health, and he's going to be able to protect the rest of the team. So the Archduke does manage to get a kill on Termuth. Well done, but he has to die in the process to do it, and Mecha Florian is able to kill Cull. So it's definitely not worth it in order to take three deaths in order to kill one person on the enemy team. So I could see that that fight was not, not going to work out and just was trying to back out of there. So I'm going to try to kite some of these enemy minions as I walk back to the base, and I'm going to head back for the safety of our towers because I know that I cannot face the enemy team unless I'm back inside, unless I'm back with the protection of a tower. Okay, now the enemy team, I'm not 100% sure where they are, but if you can't see them at this stage of the game, then the get best guess is that they're probably off doing the Baron, picking up the Baron buff, so my, get, I, my guess was that that's probably where they were, and I said that, and Cole responded by saying, we have a ward, and I was like, well, we have a ward over there, but it's not really at the Baron, it's, it's oh, south of the Baron, there. so if you, if you saw right there, Tristana already has the Baron circle around her, so yes, they have indeed done exactly what they should yeah. do after winning uh, a already. team fight there, uh, which was to go back and it. pick up the Baron buff. So I'm going to ward our blue here, I'm going to ward our, our Oracle, and then in comes Sandover, and in comes Janna, and I'm not really sure how they got there. Yeah. Now, I try to flash over the wall, but you can tell I haven't played a lot with flash because you actually cannot flash over those walls. Then I miss another crystal arrow. Very poorly done. And at this point, I'm just trying to get out of there because this is a terrible fight, and it's not one that we want to engage in uh, with them already being higher level than us and having the Baron buff. Now, Cole... In Cole just stands there. I don't know what Cole's doing. Instead of walking back to the base, he just stands there for several seconds. Maybe he's killing minions. But as you might expect, the enemy team then comes out of the bushes and starts stunning him. And they're going to catch up to Cole and they're going to kill him. And, and that's really a, a not, not a necessary death. So not not well played there, Cole, I, I have to say. That was, that was an avoidable death. So now I'm the only one left to try and defend this tower, and even though the other team does not, even though the other team doesn't have minions and are just sort of tanking this tower, they're still uh, still being able to get some pretty effective shots in on it. Now Maleficent comes forward, and that's good. He's going to set up a turret right next to the tower, which is pretty good placement. Maybe slightly further back behind the tower would be better, so that it couldn't uh, couldn't be targeted. Now Archduke just just runs forward into the middle of the team, and again he's he's just going forward to engage. And on Teamspeak, I was like, "What are you doing? What are you doing, man? Why are you running out there?" So Archduke just foolishly runs into the middle of the enemy team. Uh, the, even fights them one on four and with them having the Baron buff. I mean, the only chance we have here is to stay back by the protection of our tower. So, uh, don't don't mean to offend there, Archduke, but that was a really poor play. Uh, just no reason for that. You can see, I mean, even with all the advantages they have, they're they're not able to push in into that very narrow choke point into our base. So, you know, even with uh, them having the Baron buff, they still don't want to push in and engage. So as long as we can defend, we have, you know, we at least have a shot. Now, granted, they can go and take all the jungle buffs, and there you see Tristana, Termith, uh, porting back to base. But, um, yeah, I mean, just, just not a good fight to engage in. One of the other things I'll point out and oh, uh, yeah. I can finally purchase Infinity Edge, but if Ash is only getting an Infinity Edge at uh, you know the 30 minute mark, then that's not a good sign for your team. Now, one thing you might notice there, and, and granted I popped off that screen almost immediately, you can't really see it too well. The other team is quite a bit higher than us in levels. They are all at least they're all about two levels higher than us, uh, pretty much across the board. I'm level 14 
and uh, our hammer player is level 15, but the enemy team is pretty much 15, 16, and even a couple 17s across the board, so they outlevel us. Uh, in particular, Cole has just been outleveled. Uh, you can see he's only level 9, and uh, again, I know that Cole's jungling, and it can be tough sometimes to pick up experience when you're jungling. But when you're when you're you know something like six or seven levels behind, it's it's just very hard to play the game effectively. Uh, and, and even as a tank, even playing a Mumu as a tank, you just don't have enough hit points. You you can't stay in any fight because you get killed almost immediately. So that was another real issue. And of course, part of that is because they've been able to control the the buffs out there so effectively. I'm sure that they're up at least two or three dragons on us, and they've already gotten the Baron. So that also, of course, gives them more gold and experience they also take that tower down in the bottom lane and we have no choice we can't go out to defend it at this point we're stuck to we're just reduced to defending our base and hoping that they'll make uh, make some kind of mistake however even with that said they don't quite want to push in oh and by the way again maleficent your your turrets are placed a little too far forward that's why the other team can just shoot them down so easily if you put them like next to the tower they'd be a lot more effective so anyway, they're still reluctant to push in here. You can see Sandover has the double double buffs, red and blue, on uh, on Ramus there. So one reason why he's effective. Now, you, uh, you, we can already see what they're going to do. We can see that they're going to try to hold us here, and then they're going to switch over to the middle lane. You can see Janna is wiping out the minions up there, and there you see Sandover s switching over. Now, that said, we still have to defend this lane, so we have to take out this creep wave. Then, and now, as they start to head forward, we can fight them. Yeah. So I go after Annie, I, I catch Mecha Florian out of position, I'm gonna go after him. Volley, Frost Shot, I initiate with the Crystal Arrow. Cole gets off a nice bandage toss, and Cole tries to stun them there. The only problem is Sandover has gotten out in front, and I thought that we were gonna get Annie, but, and maybe we did, there we go. Cole managed to get the kill, so well done there, Cole. Unfortunately, we've already taken a lot of damage at this point, and Sandover, of course, hasn't taken much damage at all, being the tank, so I'm trying to avoid, uh, trying to ignore him, just go after Janna. Uh, but between taking all these shots from the minions and already having taken a lot of damage, I'm not going to be able to chase pursue that. And unfortunately, Cole was was uh, attacked and killed back there. Now I needed to heal, so I start to recall, but then Janna hits me with her tornado, and that's really bad because that means I have to recall back to base again. I'm nearly actually killed, and so now Sandover comes into our base and starts attacking Maleficent, and I make a really stupid play here. For some reason, I'm recalling back to the base, even though it's literally like three steps away, right on the other side of the Nexus, so I have no idea why I'm doing that. I think I just wasn't paying attention. What I'll do is I'm just going to buy a red elixir, which will increase my health and I increase my damage. So it's really good for attack damage champs. Now I'm going to initiate with my crystal arrow, but I missed the shot. I hit Sandover. I was trying to hit Termith instead, um, but it doesn't matter. I'm able to get the kill on Termith there and then follow that up and get the kill on Sandover. And then Mecha Florian is slow to leave. So we're going to finish that up. And with my frost arrow and the Archduke's tremors on Ramus, we're going to be able to get that kill. And then now we're going after... Uh, going after Janna, and her yeah. tornado slows me, but it's not enough to slow the Archduke. And Archduke manages to hit her with Ramus's Power Ball, get another stun, and then that combined with Ash's Frost Arrows, and a final volley is going to finish off Janna. And we managed to score an ace. So we've actually managed to uh, win a team fight, finally, uh, because the other team got a little too aggressive. And I actually managed to pick up the red buff as well as a result of killing Sandover. So uh, things are looking up a bit. The only problem is we, we've lost an inhibitor and all of, pretty much all of our lanes have been pushed. So that means that we are going to still have to be on the defensive. Now, tactically, we also make a mistake here. What we should have done was immediately have everybody heal and then have everybody go and go do Baron. That's what we needed to do here. And that's what I should have told the rest of the team. I should have said, okay, everybody immediately heal and then all four of us, let's go push Baron and either get the Baron or at least... Uh, force a fight there because the only way that we're really going to get back into this game is if we're able to take the Baron uh, even even after winning that fight we're still a little too far behind instead what we did was we split up to push back minions in each lane which again isn't isn't a terrible play but it, it wasn't the best play and it wasn't what we needed here so and I go and put a word at Baron which again I mean that's that's nice and all but just having a word at Baron is not going to be enough to sort of turn this game around Anyway, I got a lot of gold for killing Sandover. I think he had legendary status at the time. Now, see, there they are up there. Uh, it looked like they were going to do Baron, but I think they were just checking it out. And now they're coming forward, and it looks like they're going to push forward and try to fight us again. You can see them all coming into our base, and so now we have to get back to defend again. And you can see everybody coming back. So they, they actually are not going for Baron, which they probably should do. 
but uh, I guess they're not going to. It looks like they're going to try and push over there in the bottom lane instead. They want to get that that uh, tower and that inhibitor. The tower is almost gone. So unfortunately, we can't. We are late in forcing a fight. We're not able to fight them with the tower still up. Now I come forward here to try to engage, but Sandover's tremors are are hitting me the whole time. And then uh, Mecha Florian gets in a nice stun with Tibbers, and those two things are able to kill me. Uh, Sandover did a good job of taunting me, forcing me to attack him instead of the rest of the team. So now uh, everybody's been killed except for Maleficent, and now that means that we have no chance. They're going to finish up uh, finish up attacking the inhibitor. Then they're going to come after Maleficent. They're going to get these towers. You can see he goes down immediately. Uh, he just doesn't have a chance. He's going to go down immediately, and then they're going to destroy the two towers, and they're going to wrap up this game by destroying the Nexus. So, uh, yeah, I, no choice. And this game is over. So well played. the uh, Well deserving by the other team. They definitely outplayed us in this game. No question about that. And Cole says there at the end, he had his ult destroyed by Janna. Which I'm sure is true. Janna counters uh, the Amumu ult pretty well by blowing him out of the way. Alright, looking back at this game, I thought that I did okay as far as Ash goes. Not great, but, but not terrible either. Considering how little I've played Ash. And how decisively outplayed we were by the other team. I was too late in getting to the critical items for Ash. Couldn't get to Infinity Edge and Last Whisper until it was too late in the game to matter. And then in that last team fight, the other enemy team was just too farmed up. As far as the rest of the team, everybody you know tried their best, but ultimately we're just just sort of lacking. I mean, we're 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 not going to be able to win a game uh, without being able to get a little bit more kills there. So I'm not going to blame anyone in particular. I know a lot of people were playing new champs, but it just just wasn't a good enough performance all around from our whole team. One thing I'll say in terms of team composition, our team composition just wasn't good enough. In a four-person game, you can't take two tanks. I was actually respecting my masteries on the staging screen, and I wasn't paying attention. Uh, otherwise, I would have recommended not taking both Ramus and Amumu. And then uh, as far as an ability power damage goes, I think Maleficent just wasn't experienced enough with Heimer to be able to dish out damage. Uh, that left me as pretty much the only one doing much damage, and Ash in and of herself uh, is not going to be enough to win a game like that, especially when uh, the other team is stacking armor as they should. Anyway, Sandover really controlled this game. Sandover was all over the map. He started out jungling and then was just uh, ganking people in different lanes, coming in and, and getting kills all over the place. Uh, just a really well-played game, able to control the buffs, and and the rest of the team played some a very effective support. Uh, the Janna and Annie ults both wrecked us really well. The Janna ults healing their team, pushing people out of the way, and then the area of effect stun from the Annie ult was just very well done. So nicely played. Anyway, I wanted to show you another game with another character. One reason why I haven't played more attack damage champs is partly just lack of practice, and then but more so because I don't have the runes to play attack damage champs. I don't have any armor penetration runes, and I still don't have them. So maybe more of this in the future, but for now, just going to try them out in a practice game. Anyway, I'm sure a lot of you have played Ash before, so if you want to leave me some comments on what I should have done differently or how you guys like to build Ash, feel free to post them, and you know maybe I'll learn a little bit from you guys as well. So once again, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Can't win them all.